to dapur goma today we are going to make um something very special from one of my special person in this planet it's my mother-in-law uh this is the best recipe uh, i've ever tried for this cake because before i always felt it's just too hard not moist and too gooey but with her recipe it's just perfect so today we are going to make banana bread if you ever try my banana bread you might wondering what's the recipe and we're gonna make it tonight so here's the ingredients Okay, let's get started. First, preheat the oven to 175 Celsius. In a medium bowl, mix the dry ingredients, which is plain flour and baking powder. Mix well and set aside. In a large mixer bowl, prepare butter, sugar and beat them all together in the medium to high speed until smooth and creamy on a medium speed add the egg and beat them all together in the medium to high speed until smooth Prepare the ripe banana. As you can see here, when the banana is ripe, it will be soft and will be some black spot on the surface of the skin. Beat in those bananas on a medium speed until combined. Slowly beat the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients until no flour pockets remain. Do not overmix. And then add 2 tablespoons of milk into the mixture. As you can see here, all the ingredients are well combined. So, it's done. This is how it looks like and make sure your butter looks the same. Prepare the loaf pan and grease the pan with some butter. And also some sprinkle of flour on the top of it. Now, pour the butter into the prepared baking pan. You can use any pan you have at home, but I prefer my little loaf pan better. It's just for easy cutting. Now, it's ready to be baked. On 175 Celsius, bake it for 60 to 65 minutes. It's done! Wow, look at that baby! What a beautiful golden brown skin! Now we're gonna do a little test to make sure that the bread is well cooked. A toothpick inserted in the center of the loaf will come out clean when the bread is done. Okay, that looks perfect. With a little bit of butter, Grease the surface of the cake. This is why I didn't put the salt in my cake because I want to put salted butter on the top of my cake. Now 
this is the moment of truth. Remove the cake from the pan. Perfect. Voila! Here it is, my banana bread. The recipe from my mother-in-law. When you do your mother-in-law's recipe, it will never go wrong.